Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have 2 to the power x minus 3 into square root of 2 to the power x plus 4 plus 35 is equal to 0. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, you know the deal. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Because of what we have here, let me explain something to you. If I have a to the power n times a to the power n, this is equal to a to the power m plus n. Now the reason is that you can see we have the same basis multiplying. So you just write one and then sum the exponent. Okay, so this equation over here could also be written as 2 to the power x minus 3 into square root of 2 to the power x times square root of 2 to the power 4 then plus 35 and this is equal to 0 okay so we have 2 to the power x minus 35 into square root of 2 to the power x now let's consider this one over here i write this as square root of 2 to the power 2 then to the power 2 again, then plus 35, and this is equal to 0. So straight away, you can see this square will cancel this square root. Now we have 2 to the power x minus 3 into square root of 2 to the power x into. Now from here, you can see we have 2 to the power 2 over here, which is 4, right? So we have 4 here, then plus 35 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. We have 2 to the power x. Now we have 4 times negative 3. We have negative 12 here. Then into square root of 2 to the power x. Then plus 35 is equal to 0. Now if I have square root of a, this is the same as a to the power 1 over 2. Then a to the power m or to the power n is the same as a to the power m times n. Now, considering what we have over here, which is square root of 2 to the power x, this is the same as 2 to the power 1 half, like we did here, then to the power x. And applying this rule, we have 2 to the power x over 2. So, in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put this, right? So, we have 2 to the power x minus 12 into 2 to the power x over 2 then plus 35 is equal to 0 so guys we ended up with this equation and it is not quadratic so what do you think we should do huh oh. well let me check something here this 2 to the power x if i write it as 2 to the power x over 2 just like this one then I raise it to a second power. Now let's check and see using this rule. If I multiply this one by this whole thing, I'm still getting 2 to the power x. Okay, so guys, we are on point. So we have negative 12 to the power 2 to the power x over 2, then plus 35 is equal to 0. Ooh, that is awesome. We have a quadratic equation, so we can easily solve this. Now let's go ahead and then let y to be equal to 2 to the power x over 2. Okay, so this equation becomes y to the second power minus 12y plus 35 is equal to 0. So guys, from here, let's go ahead and then find two values that when we multiply, You'll be getting 35 but when you sum them up you'll be getting negative 12 okay so if i write 7 and then 5 7 times 5 is 35 so we are good to go over here then 7 plus 5 is never negative 12 unless we negate each of them right so these are the numbers that will work for this equation so this equation is the same as y to the second power minus 7 y minus 5y plus 35 is equal to 0. Now from here, let's go ahead and then factor y out. So we have y into y minus 7. 
Then negative 5 out, so we have y minus 7, and this is equal to 0. So from here, we have y minus 5 as one of the factors, then y minus 7 as the other factor, and this is equal to 0. So from here, we can say that y minus 5 is equal to 0, or y minus 7 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then make y the subject from these two equations. So from here, we have y to be 5. Then this side, we have y to be 7. Okay? But don't forget that we let y to be equal to 2 to the power x over 2. Okay? So when y is equal to 5, we have 5 is equal to 2 to the power x over 2. Now we have this nice exponential equation. So I'm just going to introduce log in base 2 on the both sides of the equation. So we have log in base 2 of 5 is equal to log in base 2 of 2 to the power x over 2. And as usual, I'm going to move this one to the front. So we have log base 2 of 5 is equal to x over 2 log base 2 of 2. Now this whole thing is equal to 1, so we have the right hand side to be x over 2, then this side to be log base 2 of 5. If we cross multiply, we have x to be equal to 2 log base 2 of 5. Okay, so when y is equal to 5, we have x to be equal to this. Now what happens to x when y is equal to 7? So when y is equal to 7, we have... 2 to the power x over 2 is equal to 7. Introducing log in base 2 on the both sides of the equation, we have log in base 2 of 2 to the power x over 2 is equal to log in base 2 of 7. Just like we did earlier, let's move this one to the front. So we have x over 2 log base 2 of 2 is equal to log base 2 of 7. Now this is 1, so we have x over 2 is equal to log base 2 of 7. If we cross multiply, we have x to be equal to 2 log base 2 of 7. So guys, in all, we have either x is equal to 2 log base 2 of 5 or x is equal to 2 log base 2 of 7. And this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching and take good care of yourself so that I will see you again on the next video.